Hey hey and welcome to the Radax Brain series. In this video we're going to look at drills for actions of first intention. All drills are initiated by the student starting with an inclusion into an expulsion against the master. Before getting into the details I will make a brief explanation what an expulsion is and what an inclusion is. An inclusion is a way to maintain control over opponent's sword and to make sure they do not escape when you take their sword. You want to have your third, the middle strong, on their second, the middle weak, to ensure you are stronger than them. Since you already have control over their sword, they need to make a motion around your sword to free themselves. When making the motion, try thus to move where they are going, not just directly chase their blade. Try also to have a follow-up from the inclusion and not just spin their sword around lap after lap. An expulsion is when you toss the opponent's blade to the side using momentum and force from some variant of an inclusion or similar. It's a way of dealing with the opponent trying to leave the bind, punishing and handling them being weak in the bind. When you do it, try to move towards where they are moving to escape and make sure you pass through their sword. The force in it comes from a long contact time and using as many muscles as possible to push with. Towards the end of the action, make a short pull with the hand. For extra force in the push, you can slide down their blade as you push as well. Master and student start at the right angle at Medirhe Partion. The student makes a small circle to engage the master's blade from the outside and carries in it in a half circle, tossing it to the left. The student let the momentum of the sword continue into a taho, finishing vertically with a step forward so the step forward and the cut finish at the same time. The setup of this drill is exactly the same, but after the student finishes the expulsion to the left, the student let the momentum kin continue while lifting up the sword, ending it into a medi reves with a step finishing simultaneously with the cut. The setup is similar in this one, but with the difference that it's follow up by thrust. It doesn't need to carry the momentum the same way into the follow up of that reason. Rada says the student can do it with enough force to push the master's sword to the ground or to pull it out of his hand. The movement is finished in a low acute angle. Afterwards, the student moves the blade into the right angle and takes a step, finishing the step with the movement into the right angle. The reason why you can do this drill with extra force, I believe, is that you don't need the momentum to carry the sword into a cut. So put your all in, into the expulsion. This is also a time to apply the sliding action I mentioned earlier. The master and the student start at the right angle at middle of a portion. The student engages the master's blade from the inside, including the master's sword in a half circle before expelling it to the right. The student keeps the momentum of the sword going, carrying it into a vertical reves and finishes the cut with a step forward. The setup of this drill is exactly the same as the previous exercise, but after the student finishes the expulsion to the right, the student instead lets let it continue to the side and up, then cut in a medio tajo with a forward step finishing the same time as the cut. The setup of this drill is similar to the previous exercise, but you want, similar to the earlier thrust exercise, to add more push to the expulsion, which also ends the momentum of the sword. From that position, move the sword to the left and do a diagonal tajo, with the, with the steps the same as always. Do notice you will move the sword opposite direction as the expulsion. A nifty little detail of this exercise, compare it to the Tajo Diagonal of the last video. 
the end position of the expulsion is the start position of that drill. The start position might at a first glance otherwise have seemed quite awkward. Do the same thing as the last drill, but now finish with a thrust instead of a cut. After you have done the expansion that kills the momentum of your sword, move it back to the left up into the right angle. Finish step and the movement to the right angle simultaneously. This was all his drills using linear footwork. In the next video we are going to look at drills using circular footwork.